Hello, welcome back to my channel. So I just found a really interesting question on the Bricks Builder community on Facebook. It's about uh, submitting data from Bricks from Element to Google Sheet. Uh, so uh, I browse uh, some a uh, tutorial, uh, go googling, and finding uh, if there is any. Um, article which can help me uh, a ship a shipping that so I just found one and, and this um, I will show you the result <laughs> and I will tell you how later so I just oh, I, I have a, a form the the standard bricks form element here uh, with a uh, one field it is email field and then this is my spreadsheet so um, the idea is when when I submitting the data from this form, uh, let's say I will put <coughs> my email at mail.co and when I click send submitting the data, uh, it will uh, sync with this spreadsheet. So let's say uh, let let's send it. Okay successfully sent and let's see all right this is the data um, which I input uh, just now so uh, let's uh, I will tell you how to make it how to ship that uh, basically uh, this is the tutorial that I follow um, from a github um, I think the, the author is the Jamie Wilson <coughs> and let's start shall we the first thing is yeah you need to create a, a form yeah this is this just basic form nothing nothing uh, uh no plugin whatsoever <laughs> and after you create the form um the first step to do is create a new google sheet um let's create a new one shall we oh sorry sorry i need to like um yeah all right create new one with a blank template okay so let's create one and let's name it um as form from my website and then the rename it yeah or, or whatever it doesn't matter he say okay put the following headers into the first row the first is time timestamp okay for now i'm gonna follow whole tutorial of timestamp and the second is email um, if you have uh, another field then um, there is apa, the, there is uh, other uh, notice um, i mean there's note to that like if you, you if you have uh, like another field uh, you can create uh, like if you have a first name field yeah you can just like put your uh, field name to the column of the sheet and okay for now I'm gonna use the, the one field aja yeah just one field email field since my form is only have one field and after that let's see okay okay oh where, where okay here Cl click on tool script editor tool script editor nope it's not on tool but it's on extension i think uh this is uh made like uh somehow like long time ago maybe like uh when this oh six <laughs> years ago i mean yeah there is some changings some change on the sheet yeah but of course the menu you can find is an extension and there's the up script uh, menu script editor yeah and up script menu go to extension up script menu click that and here uh, we will have another window with our function so uh, let's say delete the function okay delete this okay 
and then paste the following script okay so we're gonna just copy here and then just paste it and then save okay and mm, run the setup function okay next go to run run function initial setup where, where is one here run uh oops authorization require okay review um, okay authorization require review sign in to google account okay and click allow okay sign in to google account and click advanced go to untitled project and save allow okay it okay execution completed and then um now go to click on edit current project trigger edit uh, where is that wait wait execute edit current project trigger edit nope oh here the menu is uh, here edit current project trigger not trigger setup click at okay um, wait 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 oh here see there is uh, if you apa if you hover on the left menu on the left sidebar menu on the left icon menu you can see the trigger menu just click that and then result create new trigger trigger and then uh, let's see Publish the place web app. Eh, in the drop down, select select do post, select do post. Okay, here and then choose which uh, we cannot choose anything on the second field. Select even source um, from spreadsheet. Oh, set the even field to from spreadsheet to on form, from spreadsheet to form calendar ah. from spreadsheet on form submit ah, I think this is the, the combination from spreadsheet to on form submit okay and then click save uh, not if me daily uh, not if me daily okay save and save loading data this may take a few moments okay take your time please please check up your pop Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think because I pop, uh, block the pop up here. Okay, but if I run twice, run twice, then uh, it will, the pop up will open, and then see and create. Okay, okay, okay. Just allow that. Okay, and all right. Okay, now the trigger has a new trigger. The trigger. Uh, I, I have a new trigger here. And then after that, what should I do? Click publish, deploy as web app. Okay, click publish. There is no publish here, but you can click deploy, new deployment, <laughs> and then select the type. I think deploy as web app. Select the type and choose web app. New description like um, function to run form to uh, to sit web app oh there is a cat so let me get here execute the app as set to my email okay and who has the access set to anyone yeah because uh, we don't want to we don't want to restrict this form uh, because uh, uh, the user doesn't has to log in to Google account to submit the form so we just uh, anyone <laughs> and then uh, click deploy okay click deploy updating the deployment okay <laughs> mm, let's wait loading data this may take a few moment okay take your time now we already have deployment ID and web app URL. Um, okay, publish. Okay, open the file name index. 
we are done with the fifth step now we are gonna move to the sixth step the form name we don't need this because we will create this uh, form with a element uh, form element on the bricks builder so what on we need to do is just create the script and then pass it to our code element okay let me delete first okay add a code element and then put the script and then um, let's just copy this okay so this uh, you can see the script URL equal equal to our script URL so this is the URL of script we can copy that and then just paste it here and then document form we're gonna target to our form uh, it's better to execute the code first and see on the front end okay just save it and see on the front end just open up your console and let's target the form we're gonna target the form by its id form id brxa um yeah here you can just like <coughs> copy the form id and then pass it to this all right and then the submit yeah yeah i think it's all done it's all done save it and uh, let's test <laughs> let's test yeah let's test like test at um das dot das this set dot das dot das okay let's send it and let's see our google sheet oh why the timestamp uh, this mean that actually the the script is run uh, fine but why the there is no data on the email uh, column um be that because if you see here on the example the input name is email this input name should same with the the apa the name of the first row on the excel uh, but in our form you see the input name is not email it's like form field c 39 b 5 7 whatever so um if we yeah yep yep i think we can use this input name and then replace the email here with our info uh, field input uh, field name so it's something like this and let's try again this set to add does does send okay now our field is getting through the google sheet and it's working so let's uh let's try to add a new field like text um, name full name placeholder full name uh, and then save it and then let's see uh, the field name of our uh, full name where is the field name here here yeah full name yeah this is the field name just copy that and um wait wait okay just copy that and paste it here yeah here let's see my name is Fanugraha. email like um yeah it's like this send it and let's see all right the second field is getting through our seat um, and how uh, this this uh, table name is really annoying you can see there is no actual no real name for each field so what you can do is you can um, create a new insert one row one row above and then create the, the the real name the actual name of the field like date submitted 
this is the email field and this is the full name and then you can hide this hydro um okay now we're gonna uh, try again with um, like adding a new form a new field i mean like um, this is the text area let's say i'm gonna create a field for message um yep something like this let's um bring it down and let's save it and mm, let's see our uh, field name and then oh yeah i need to like uh, unhide row and then paste the field name here and then uh, create an, the real name for a field message and then let's um, hide again let's test the form name email and then my message is hello uh, I, I need some website oh, I need your service service and yep it's done let's send it and see okay all the field is getting through this Google sheet and yeah I just I just like uh, this if you wanna uh, use this on your uh, production website you can uh, you need to like console apa? you need to like make sure that uh, whether this script this method is really really secure or no so uh, if you don't understand um, if you're a newbie or beginner and don't understand but you wanna like uh, make sure that this code is secure uh, you need to like consult with with another developer um, to see if this is like uh, yeah I, I think from the security side this is good or not um, if not yeah you can like make adjustment um, so it can suit what you need but yeah this is just like a basic idea how to submitting the data from the Bricks form to the Google sheet um, so I guess the, the question has been answered and if you have any question or suggestion or critic uh, make sure to to write your comment on, on the comment box down below and uh, don't forget to like um, visiting my website it's among uh, wp.com you can see my article there maybe it can help you in some way so it's weekend time happy weekend and happy coding see you on next video bye bye